Even with the government's difficulty in delivering free health care and tuition fee-free education, those items will not be seeing cuts in the 2018 budget. But then, like the 2017 budget, the figures looked good in the budget books, but the delivery depended heavily on cash flow. The Prime Minister, however, is confident of nominal growth in 2018, reflecting a slight improvement in the global economy. We are seeing an upswing in the uh, commodity prices that is... Uh uh, starting to rise. Uh, oil is now trading close to $60 per barrel. Uh, gold and copper are also increasing. Coffee and, and all the other commodity prices are also improving. So what we expect is a, a very stable environment over the coming years. Another item that will feature strongly when the budget is handed down tomorrow is the spending on APEC, with the government looking at using it to build capacity the PM is also indicating belt tightening measures in the public service. Nothing specific yet, but it's something that has long been suggested by analysts and the measures could be spread out over various sectors. Uh, we're trying to uh, uh, review the structure of our debt, our expenditures and try and improve our revenue collections. Generally tomorrow, the Treasurer will be speaking the same language he did at the beginning of the announcement of the 100 days plan several months ago. And this will include cutting spending, managing expenses and rescheduling major infrastructure projects. Scott Wyde, National MTV News, Leigh.